Hi, Kate from Managed by Kate, and today we are here again with Josh from Rome Mortgage Services. Investing, Josh. This is our field of expertise, um, but the finance side of things, I thought it would be really great for you to be able to step our clients or anyone looking to invest. How do you get started in the property portfolio? Well, I guess 90% of people, they're already going to have their own property and they're looking to buy a second property. So the most common way is to leverage off the asset you've really got. So look at the equity in your own home. Um, and that, I guess that's where we come in, get your place valued, um, see what equity is there and look to try and leverage that to buy your second or third property. Okay. For those who may not have their first property, can you just explain what equity actually is to those who may not be familiar with the term? Yeah, sure. So once you pay off portions of your home loan, you're gonna build equity. So Basically, it's where the bank's going to lend you money against your property in the quest to, I guess, buy an investment property. So once you sort of pay your loan off, say down to, you might own 50% of your property, we might be able to look at pulling 50 to 100,000 out of that property to use as a deposit for your second home. Okay. So people, if you've already got your own home and you know it might be something that you've renovated and you might have purchased for three hundred thousand, it may now now be worth you know four hundred, four hundred fifty thousand. You can actually use that extra hundred, hundred fifty thousand towards a deposit for a second home. Yeah, exactly. So without paying what they call lenders mortgage insurance, we can borrow up to eight percent of the property value. Just so for simple maths, if it's worth five hundred thousand and you owe three hundred. You've got $100,000 you can pull out of that property without having to pay any extra fees. Excellent, because lenders mortgage insurance is quite expensive and it's a much bigger expense to then try and save up on top of a deposit, so. Exactly, and all, what that does is it gives you that money that you can put towards another property in Gunner. Uh, and a lot of landlords probably aren't aware of the amount their property's gone up in the last, probably if you look at Gunner Day, even in the last two years to six months even, the yeah. property market's gone crazy, so. Excellent. Now, if you don't own a home and you need to save and you're looking at purchasing an investment, or even if you do own your own home but you need to save a deposit because you just don't have that 20% in equity, what would you suggest? Like, what are the banks looking for um, in deposit-wise? Like, you know, how would you set yourself up best to be able to obtain an investment loan? Yeah, so to purchase an investment loan, you, you're going to need a 10% deposit. Uh, plus your stamp duty. So looking at uh, potentially a $300,000 property, your stamp duty is going to be around 15000 So you're looking at your 10% deposit, your mortgage insurance, plus your 15000 So at 300000 like rough mass, you're looking at sort of needing about that 65000 70000 and then you can look at purchasing your second place. Okay, no worries. Now, what um, benefits would you suggest at the moment, like in the current market? What benefits are there in having a second property? Like, why should people look at in, like reinvesting? I guess just with the property growth, people are looking to expand their portfolio or looking to, I guess, leverage what they've already got. Uh, and just getting that rental income, rental prices are ridiculous here in Gunnada, as most people are probably fully aware. Um, so you can be part of that. So you might be earning, you might only pay $300,000 for a property, but listed with Kate, you might be getting your four, high threes to $400 a week. You'd yeah. imagine, so you're getting a good return on your investment, so that's a good way to capitalise on what's going on yeah, in the industry. Hard. When I first started in the industry 15 years ago, most properties were very heavily negatively geared, but I've noticed, especially like within Canada, properties now are sort of covering the cost of not only the mortgage, but any upcoming maintenance areas. So our owners at the moment, it's very uncommon for them to be out of pocket. So. Yeah, and I guess that's a good thing. A lot of people, negative gearing is that sort of trend, but I know if I'm looking at an investment, I'm there to make money. So <laughs> I think I'm looking to lose week to week. So it's a positive thing, but obviously there's some good accounts around town that you can get some advice off or even talk to your, your agents about the returns you'll get and if it's worthwhile for you. Oh, definitely. We always recommend to speak to the accountants to make sure that you're deducting absolutely everything you can. Same as tax depreciation schedules, we always push our clients to like make sure that they're capitalising every last cent that they can. So, all right, well, thanks, Josh, for sitting with us today and talking about investing. Fantastic, thanks for having me. No worries.